All right, here we are with a new chapter, section seven one. I don't have my regular mic, so if you're listening to this, if you listen to this on YouTube or something, it's not going to sound quite as good, but you can still probably hear me just fine. Okay, so this whole chapter is not just about these three things, but it's about area. Okay, well, got to get my marker working. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so it's about area. So everything we're going to be doing in this chapter, pretty much everything we're going to be doing in this chapter is about area. You've probably done this before. You probably did this, I don't know, any idea when you first did area? Maybe elementary school, fifth grade, maybe, something like that. At least in middle school, right? <laughs> At least in middle school, you talked about area. So the first thing we're going to do, it's pretty simple. It's one of the easiest ones, and I have a picture here. So let me copy that, put it here. So since it says area of a rectangle, let's put a rectangle in here and let's figure out how to find the area. Now I put these little blocks in here for a reason because when you find area, they define area as this. You, you can write it down if you want, it's in the book, but it says area of a region is the number of square units needed to cover it completely. So look at the whole entire rectangle. See that big side right there and this big side right there, you got that whole entire rectangle. So when we find the area of something, what are we actually finding? we're finding out how many squares can fit inside that rectangle. Now when I say a square, what does that mean? That specifically means all four sides are equal to each other, okay? And right angles as well. Everybody with me on that? So when you find the area of something, you're finding out how many squares are in it. You can even find the area of a circle, okay? But an area of a circle, hardly ever, if, if ever, I don't think, no, it never comes out to like a, a even whole number, right? There's always a decimal when you talk about circles. We'll talk about that later on in this chapter. But right now, um, we're just finding out how many squares can fit inside of this thing, all right? So we could just count them all, couldn't we? I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 24, right? I could count like that if I wanted to. But what's a better way to do that, okay? Yeah, you could count across how many do you have. So how many, how many squares do we have across? We got eight squares across. How many squares do we have up and down? We got three. So I got one row of eight, a second row of eight, and a third row of eight. Agreed? I could just add them all up, or I could just do what? Eight times three. Okay? So I could just go eight times three, which is 24. I have 24 what, though? 24 what inside of this rectangle? I got 24 squares. So this is how we do it. So instead of writing squares, you could write it like this. You could write SQ for squares, okay? Um, and if it was like in, let's say it was in inches, all right? So if this was eight inches, three inches, you could say square what? Inches. inches, okay? But, and you'll see that a lot. So if you go out and buy something, you buy, you probably won't be doing this as a ninth grader, but if you go out with your parents or something, you buy something, they might say, uh, this is, you know, $5.73 per square, what, foot. They probably won't say inches if you're buying like flooring or carpet or something like that. They'll probably say square feet, right? But you could measure things in square inches, square miles. You probably heard that, right? Oh, that city or that town or that ranch or that whatever is so many square miles, all right? Um, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about area. How many squares can you fit inside there? Now, when you buy stuff like square feet in, with carpet or flooring or something like that, you you probably will see like on the little tag when you're buying it, you'll see it SQ and then inches or feet. They probably say feet, tell you the truth, um, square feet like this. But in math, we don't write it like this. Okay, we write it since it's square. We write it like this. We would write twenty square or twenty four. Sorry, inches. What do you think? What? Squared. So that would be how we would write the area. Now that's very important. I'm gonna tell you right now, and you can't get mad at me on a quiz or a test because I'm telling you right now. When I ask you to find the area of something, and this whole chapter is about finding the area and other things as well, okay, but it's a, it's a lot about area. You must have the squared in here, okay? If it's in feet, you put feet squared. If it's in meters, you put meters squared and so on. Everybody got it? Okay, you must have this to get the problem right. If you just do this, A is 24, okay, let's say it's number three on a quiz, and you just put A is 24, or you just put 24, 
and you don't put square inches, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to mark it wrong. Okay? Everybody understand that? Okay, I'm telling you right now. It's fair warning. Write it down in your notes if you need to. All right? You must put the units. All right? If you put the units on here, I'll put a little check mark. Everybody likes seeing the check marks, right? All right? It means you got it right. And so that's how you would do it. Everybody with me? Okay. So somebody said this already, but I wanted to wait till we did all this. What, do we, what would we call this side right here? It's eight inches, but we could call this side something and this side something. What could we call it? Somebody said it earlier. Length. length, right. Okay, we'll just use L for length. Put it right there. All right, so we could put length. And what would we call this one if we call this one the length? Call it the width. Okay, to tell you the truth, it doesn't matter which one you call length. It doesn't matter which one you call width. What's that? You could call it height if you want to. All right, if you want to call it height, you could call it height as well. All right, but we're going to talk about height in a minute. Listen, listen. On a rectangle, the width and the length are always what to each other? It's a rectangle. So what angle does it make in a rectangle? It always makes 90 degrees, so they're perpendicular. Agreed? Okay, so it always makes a right angle. So the height, remember we talked about this? Was it last chapter, chapter before? I don't know. Remember we talked about if here's the ground, you're in an airplane, right? Oops, here's your airplane. Here's your wings. Then the, um, that's your height right there, or altitude, remember that? Okay, it's perpendicular. So you could call it the height if you want to. We're gonna use height, we definitely will when we talk about some other things, but normally, I just wanna be, I just wanna tell you how we do things normally. We would say, well, actually they do use height in, the, in this, but a lot of times you'll see length times width. So you'll see area equals length. And a lot of times they put that little x. It's been a while since we've done that little x for multiplication, usually in math, in algebra, what do we usually put? Like a dot, or you could put it in parentheses, or you could just, since they're two letters, you could just do what? Put them next to each other like that, couldn't you? Yeah. All right, so it doesn't matter. It really makes no difference how you write it, but just know what that means. But you could also say, I'll put an or right here, or you could say the area is the, um, sometimes they call it the base and the height. So this book actually does call it the base and the height. But I wanted to show you length and width because that's a very, very common uh, formula that they use for area, okay, is length times width. You'll hear that all the time. So I wanted to show you both because I wanted you to understand that. So you could say area is length times width or it's base times height. Okay, we just, hold on, hold on. So we just got started. So we'll finish this up tomorrow. So no homework tonight. We'll uh, assign that tomorrow.